Hi everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I am recording a video of me building a bathhouse area for Harry who just moved onto my island the other day. So uh, here is Harry's house and looks like he's looks like he's in. Uh, so let's go ahead and say hello and take a look at um, at what's in his house. So here he is. Oh, he's he's crafting away. Uh, so Harry has a bathhouse themed uh, home, and you can see a couple of uh, springs or hot tubs or whatever you want to call them, and a towel uh, and some bamboo there. Uh, so I decided to look for artwork that would be maybe Japanese or Asian inspired um, depictions of bathhouses. And here we go. <laughs> I found one by a really famous Japanese artist, Katsushika Hokusai, um, most popularly known for The Great Wave, which is the dynamic painting that red sells um, to us here in Animal Crossing. Uh, later in life, he attempted or started a project where he um, illustrated or planned to illustrate uh, an anthology of poems. And so the uh, particular uh, wood block print that I picked is a poem by Fujiwara no Yoshitaka uh, and it depicts a bathhouse. Uh, if you look at the um, the, uh, the print uh, you can see that there is a bath uh, by a house with some trees nearby. Uh, there is a uh, bamboo type fence in the back and with some people in the in the bath as well as some people looking outside. Uh, so I think we can do that in this section here by Harry's house. So what I have here is what is, it started out as a pond, a regular pond. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and, and even this out so it's a, a rectangle. It looks like an actual man-made bath. Uh, I have a boardwalk uh, custom pattern that I'm going to go ahead and put in the back. Uh, and I have those um, bamboo um, lattice fencing. I think that matches that particular uh, uh, artwork pretty well. Uh, over to the side here I have a stall or two that I'll place uh, and I also have some bamboo benches uh, and some uh, bonsai trees to, to probably decorate the area. Finally uh, I do have a kimono that's a blue print. It's actually one of Sable's patterns that matches the uh, kimono of one of the uh, people in the um, in the print so I will put that out here as well. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Let's put on the construction hat and dig out a pool or a bath. Start construction, take off my cute little black cap and put on this construction helmet. And let's start with the uh, water escape. I think what I'm gonna do is make this a bit smaller so I have more room in the back for that uh, sort of wooden boardwalk or walkway or whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna get smaller here because I want some room for a, oops, let's close that off, yeah. I want room to put a bench there. Hmm. And I'm wondering if this is too... Let's see, I'm not sure what to I think about the size. I might make this a little bit wider. Which means I'll have to close some of this off here. Maybe make this particular river a little bit smaller. So there's actually some room here to have a, a good walkway. waterscaping a little bit intimidating because uh, it's hard to really figure out what exactly it's gonna do. I'm sure there's a pattern, I just haven't figured it out well yet. So we're making a rectangle. 
It's looking pretty nice already. And because this is man-made, I'm actually okay with yeah, it's a man-made bath. I want the actual square corners here. Uh, I am going to temporarily make this shorter so I actually have room to put that bench here. Let's see. Well, let me do this or not. as close as it gets. Let's put a bonsai tree here. Not half bad. Oh, I think I just stuck myself into a hole. All right, to let in again. Close this off. make this into a square if we can. Oh, we can't. I wonder why I can't make it into a square like this side. You know what? I'm going to push this uh, bench over. See if I can make this a corner here. Or animal Crossing's just being stubborn. So there is a boardwalk pattern uh, that a lot of us have. Uh, you might have it as well. Um, I'm gonna take, oops, I think I'm gonna take this off. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more terraforming with this right now. But yeah, there's a boardwalk pattern that I used out on the beach and I think it would look good here as well. That way you can, um, you know, re repurpose patterns, which is a nice, uh, nice option. Because there are only uh, so many custom design spots that we've got. Oh, don't want to wear it. I want to display on the ground. Let's do our next section. Oops. doing this a little bit faster than doing the terraforming version of this. You kind of have to get used to which direction um, the patterns will display. Oops, for example, I did that one incorrectly. So I'll just have to redo that one. I'll put a row on the right side too after I uh, get this back section done. fence back here too. Very nice. 
Let's see, and I was gonna put another bit here, so let's go ahead and do that. done with this boardwalk. Hmm. I wonder if I want to go one more. I'll go one more. That way it extends even beyond Harry's house. did it again. I guess it could be a debate whether this is more efficient or not than um, through the terraforming menu because you have to fix the mistakes if you're not careful. This works. <laughs> so let's put that fencing up. I uh, also uh, like to put as I mentioned before, that kimono back here somehow. So let's figure out a space to put that. Hmm. I know, let's uh, put the kimono here because the, the person wearing the kimono was sort of on the left side. Uh, and that person was also sitting on a bench. So do I want to put the bench in the middle or on the side? Let's put the bench over here for now, and we can always move it later. Appreciating this opportunity to use this bamboo lattice fencing. I actually don't have it anywhere else on my island. Uh, so this is going to be great. First time getting to use this. Oh, that actually works pretty well. Now I also, as I mentioned, got some stalls. Uh, what's neat about this stall is um, I customized it uh, using that boardwalk pattern. So it actually looks like uh, it has the uh, boardwalk, the same wooden planking uh, on the outside. Um, kind of looking almost like a, uh, not quite a roof, but you know, kind of making this more like a structure of some type, even though it is an outdoor uh, bathhouse. So nice, so nice, so nice. And so there's room to bathe and pick up stuff. Uh, now, there's a person lying down, so I think I want to put a um, towel someplace. Let's see if there's room for me to do that here. Maybe, maybe not. You know, if I put it here, it means I can't walk around, so maybe I'll put this here. See what it looks like. Oh, 
Oh, there is room to walk around it. Okay, then I think I will uh, put on this end because that way we have a little bit more of something to look at on this side. picture we had people in the pool we had the fence we had someone in a kimono and a bench and I put an extra towel there just in case uh, you know, that person who's pictured is lying there is on a towel and I'm just gonna decorate the rest of this area with some stuff I have a couple of those uh, rattan towel baskets Is a um, another bonsai tree I think could go well there. That works. Doesn't feel like it needs a bit more. I did bring some trees to sort of spice things up a bit. I'm gonna see if I can plant a tree somewhere, or maybe one of those bamboo uh, um, one of those bamboos. behind the house here. How does that look? Not too bad. I think I will put another one here. That might block that view. Yeah, let's put it here, and I will move that bench out of the way. Cause that's not that doesn't need to be there anymore. Well, I can leave it there actually. I'll move it out just a little bit so I can stick behind there if I wanted to go in the back. All right. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Do I want more green? I think I will put well that bench. Mm, I do feel like it could use a little bit more green. I know the painting doesn't have a lot, but it did have some green by the house. I know. Let's put a. I have that biotech planner. It's not too bad. Well, very good. That didn't take too long, did it? <laughs> we've got a, a pool. We've got a deck of some type. Uh, we have uh, kind of a stall area with towels and a bonsai tree, another towel, kimono, and a place where you can sit and look at the view uh, or get your feet wet in the path. Uh, that's very, very nice. Well, I'm going to put my final sign on it. Um, so people know what it is. It's Harry's bathhouse. And take my photo. Not too bad. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this. This is actually a fairly simple build, but it looks pretty neat. It gives Harry uh, a place to hang out in as he uh, extends his bath outside of his home to the outside, too. Uh, I hope you all uh, will have fun yourselves making your own bathhouses uh, and uh, make things a little bit more interesting for your island or for your visitors and villagers. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs>